Home is Where the Bodies Are by Geneva Rose. Three siblings are reunited by the death of their mother. They have gone their separate ways, but with the passing of their mother, they all gather back at their old house because they need to figure out what to do with all of the stuff, the house, and so on. While they're going through their old VHS tapes of home movies, they see something they weren't supposed to see. Their mother and father getting rid of a body. I loved this book as a mystery story. It's just what a mystery should be. You start with a contradiction that you have to resolve. So in this case, you have a seemingly kind and thoughtful mother that just seems like the sweet mother that every kid would want. And you have this evidence that she is helping bury a body. And so that contradiction is a great hook for a book. I also love the incremental clues we get along the way and the, the, the further mysteries that come along, so you're trying to solve a lot of things at once. In fact, when I was getting towards the end of the book, I thought, there's no way she can wrap this up in time. Like, there's too many mysteries, you can't just come up with something that answers all of them. But to my pleasant surprise, I think she did it pretty well, uh, of explaining, like, what happened and why people acted the way they did. Um, so, it was actually pretty satisfying, and I love when books can do that for me. The other part of the book that I thought was satisfying was the setup of the characters. I have raved before on this channel about two guys and a girl as the magical combination, and books like this are a great example of that. You have the artist daughter whose life goes off the rails after she starts experimenting with drugs. You have the very successful son that leaves home as soon as he can, and you have the daughter that cares for the mother and stays in town, but her life really isn't going anywhere. Um, very comprehensible characters and so I just I love the way they set the story up so that when these three people are sitting around the dinner table talking about what they're going to do like I was just excited to hear what everyone had to say how they'd interact with each other because they've all done things in the past where they have legitimate reasons to be upset at each other and so it was fun to just watch the drama play out. I did like the writing in the book overall. I uh, when you're writing a scene, you want to be able to put the reader in the scene, but you don't want to describe everything. Nobody wants to read anything that tedious. There's a certain art in writing to finding those key details that maximize the ability to put the reader in the scene that you're creating. Uh, sometimes it's uh, from the use of smells, uh, sounds, uh, certain ways of describing the actions of the character. I think this book is a really good example of how to do that well. Um, there were a lot of scenes in this book where I thought she just captured it with just a little line. I did have one complaint about the writing of this book. Um, for the record though, I really recommend this book. Like, I think it's, if you like mystery novels, this is a fun one. So don't let what I'm about to say discourage you. In writing, there's the tactic of describing something in the scene to, and you use that as an analogy to um, a, a character or a theme of the book. Uh, this can be very effectively done, but in this book, she way overdoes it. So the road is bumpy, just like the character's life. The glow-in-the-dark stars that she has in her room are, are faded with time, just like her relationship with her mother. Uh, and she uses these so often that you can, I could almost feel it coming when uh, she like started talking about the leaves falling from the trees. Uh, when she's talking about the seasons changing, and I thought, oh boy, here we go, here we go, another analogy. Uh, sure enough, the leaves falling from the trees were like how we're all falling leaves, and fate just blows us wherever, and that's where we happen to land, or it, it was something like that. And I think on that by itself wouldn't have been bad, but when I got so used to hearing it, uh, it got a bit tiring. So my advice would be. Get rid of every third one of those examples, and I think you're good to go. I'm keeping this spoiler free, so I won't say anything uh, about the end, um, but I'm happy to say that I guessed wrong. I thought for sure I knew where it was going, and then it tricked me, which is a fun outcome for any mystery novel, so well done. Though the ending was something that I was kind of suspicious about at one point, but then I forgot about it, so I was close, but I didn't quite, uh, I can't give myself credit for seeing this one coming. Also, I read the acknowledgments at the end, and in the end, she thanks the booktubers of the world. And so I thought, I review books online, you're welcome. And if the author is watching this video, I would also say thank you for writing the book, because this was a lot of fun to read. Uh, a lot of times, books I'm kind of dreading picking up again, but this one was, I was really excited just to see what comes next. I'm going to give this book four stars.